my channel. So um, today I'm gonna do random or 30 random question and answer tag. It's all over all over here in YouTube, but it's more likely I have incorporated 30 questions for you guys so you can get to know me better and things like that. So without further ado, let's get into it. First question is do you go by any nicknames? I do. When I was a little they they my family call me like Lad Lad. It's weird because here in the Philippines if you're a Filipino, you know about all these things. They wanna repeat your name. <laughs> like if it's just weird. Uh, I I seriously think it's weird. Um, like me, they call me Laddie, then my first three letters, they kind of like shorten my name and they want to repeat it. So it's Lad Lad. But as I grew older and I grew up with friends and friends around me, like in high school, even in college, so they call me Lads. But so there you go. I go by two nicknames, Lad Lad and Lads. Weird, but yeah. Third question, are you window or aisle person? I am a window person. Whenever I go fly by plane or take a bus, I just want to be on the window side. First is I want to see the sceneries and second is I feel comfortable than being an aisle because when you're in aisle, a lot of people would be passing by so I hate that. Third question, how do you relieve stress? Stress in general really gets into you. I don't know how can I relieve stress. Even nowadays, I'm very stressed. I don't sleep. Insomnia is kicking in and just pretty tough. Anxiety is up and all those stuff. So I think I do love to eat. So what can you do? I love to eat. I think I relieve stress by eating. I know it's bad, but it's how I relieve stress. Questions are here. I actually have my iPad on this side. So if you're actually seeing me staring here, it's because I have my iPad here. Anyway, favorite childhood show? Mm, oh, maybe I do. I watch it with my dad. I watch um, Tom and Jerry. We, as, as I grow old, I even still watch that show. So we do watch that. I enjoy it with my family. And yeah, I really love cartoons. Since then, when I was young, and even now, I love cartoons. So does it count? Tom and Jerry and cartoon shows. Your kid, what do you want to be when you grow up? Tough questions right there. Um, when I was a kid, I just loved to play. Why would you always think about when I grow up, I want to be kind of like that? No, I just love to play around with my friends, my cousins, kind of like that. That thing, when you're a kid, you always do. But yeah, I was more like a push to go through medical field. Um, I learned to love it as time goes by, but I realized that when I'm more mature, I don't want to be in a medical field. As of now, like I'm on sales, I'm on marketing, so I do what's better for me, where I could find money. Moving on, what's the best prank that you have pulled out? I hate pranks. My brother, when he tries to do prank on me, I hate it. He loves prank and I don't. It's just, I think it's the most stupid thing that people would do to you, which is very, it's not even cool when people try to joke around and then you try to like believe in them or when they do prank and they scare you. Oh, I hate that, so no. Next question, if you have, if you could have dinner with three people, who would they be? Brian is not with me, so of course I would go by with my family. I would, I would definitely go out and have dinner with my mom, dad, and my little brother, Gratian. So it's something that I would want to do um, all the time. What was your favorite clothing when you were a kid, and would you wear it again today? Definitely. Oh, this is interesting. I do have a jumper. Um, it's called a purple violet. And when I was young, I would, this is my favorite, and I even do have a picture of it. I will insert a picture so you guys can see and just excuse because I really hate how I look when I was young I just don't like it and next question if you could play an instrument what will it be I always wanted to learn guitar uh, my dad is very good in guitar um, he can even like like shadow you like it's a term kind of like that but um, <clears throat> I would really love to learn guitar and piano. Piano because it's very classic and I find it really cool. Next question, if you could go back to history, who would you want to listen to speech-wise? Madela, definitely. I would love to go back and... Is that Nelson Madela? Yeah, the, him. 
If I'm wrong, sorry guys, I'm not really into history or stuff like that, so it's not me. But I would. Um, if it's if it's speech wise, yeah, definitely him. And which city would you move in? She is where I want to move in. Which city? So any city in Switzerland. I love Switzerland. I wish I could just go and visit Switzerland, but you know, Brian is from the U.S., so of course I have to be in the U.S. If a city in the U.S., I would want to be in Florida because Disney is there. Just, you know. And what do you dress up when you were a kid? We don't celebrate Halloween just in general. Um, like trick or treating, that's not, uh, it doesn't happen here in the Philippines. So it's kind of sad and I want to experience that when I go to the U.S. for sure. The next question, when you sleep, do you close your door or leave it open? Who would leave their doors open when they sleep? I don't. You could be a cartoon character. Who would you be? Cartoon character? This is tough. Oh, um, Belle from the Beauty and the Beast is my favorite Disney princess. So I always want to be Belle. Did I answer the question? Cartoon character? Belle? Yeah. Um, do you take shampoo and conditioner, sachet, or bottles in a hotel? No. I don't do such thing. Like when people be like, Oh, there's still like sachet or bottles, like let's like, bring it home. No, I don't do that. Even like towels, people do that and it's just weird. And I feel it's very inappropriate when you do that. Um, next question, do you always smile in pictures? No, I hate smiling in pictures. Like I'm even forced to smile. I don't like smiling or I do. It's just not all the time. It's just weird, but maybe it's just me. Have you peed in the woods? Peed in the woods? Forest? Woods? No. That's weird. Why is it as I go along the questions are getting weird? Um, do you still watch cartoons? Yes, because I love cartoons. When was the last one you have written someone a letter? I don't know. The last letter that I wrote was for Brian when... I think that was two years ago. I seriously wrote the letter and then i sent it via snail mail it took forever it reached like three weeks and before it reached or arrived in the u.s it's how how long you have to wait if someone would do snail mail for you pretty much um how many languages can you speak uh, pretty interesting i speak Cebuano, which is my dialect I speak Tagalog, which is our national language. I speak English because I was taught English when I was six until I went to college. It's just an universal, universal uh, language for everybody. And when I went to like a special school, kind of like because um, I had like a six months training for caregiving, we have to like have uh, French. So I know how to speak French and I know German. Because I really wanted to go to um, Switzerland and I know that they speak Swiss German but if you have like a little knowledge with German then you can converse with people there. So that's why I love to learn German and I've learned German for quite some time and I really like to learn some more and converse using it. Question, do you believe in ghosts? I don't know, I haven't seen ghosts and although that's what they said, they said it's true, they do exist but I haven't seen one so... I can tell if I do believe. Next question, can you curl your tongue? Does it count? Every, not everybody could do that? I could do. Um, sugar cookies or snickerdoodles? This is pretty interesting because um, snickerdoodles, I tried it only when Brian was here last two weeks ago. Three weeks ago? It was in this, um, if it's in our, it's a restaurant here in Dumaguete where it's called Scoobies and they have this like coffee bean section where you can have like coffee, uh, cookies, like pastries and sweet stuff like that. It was like the first time that I, I've actually tasted it because Brian was like, oh, have you tried um, sneaker doodles? I was like, what's sneaker doodles? Does it have sneakers on it? No, it doesn't. It's just a just a plain, um, plain cookie and then it's actually sprinkled with cinnamon and sugar. And it tasted not weird, but it tasted good. If you don't know me yet, I hate cinnamon in general, but I love cinnamon Danish in um, where is it? Starbucks. And I learned to, you know, the taste of cinnamon is kind of new to me, and I, I don't normally love cinnamon, but cinnamon Danish in Starbucks and snickerdoodles kind of thing is my thing. Um, next question Do you like swimming? 
there's like a mermaid in me like i really love to swim if i go out when we go to the beach it's hard for you to ask me to get off the beach kind of like that does it answer the question i love swimming in general be patient ask my family ask brian if i'm patient <laughs> actually no um i've never been patient in my life like if i wanted something i wanted so bad and i just get Ugh. and i hate when some people would ask me to like wait i have kids no i'm 24 i'm turning 25 this march 14 and no i don't have kids uh do you want kids I can't tell that I really want kids, but Brian and I have talked a lot about this. We think that having kids are expensive. I think having kids would... I know, because we wanted to go to a lot of places and we want to enjoy our lives together. Especially that we we started our relationship in a long distance one. So, um, if eventually we will be together this year, we don't want kids right away. We wanted, we wanted some time to like... Be, be together, enjoy time together, like spend quality, quality time. Not like it's... Because when you have this vacation time, it's like one week to two weeks only. So it doesn't really give justice to what we really want. Um, and we wanted more bonding together, kind of like that. So, yeah. Um, are you single or married? I am not single. I am not married. <laughs> I'm actually engaged. Um, so, yeah. I got engaged um, February 6th and yeah so the question is not applying to me are you single or married i'm not single but i'm not married but i am engaged so where did you meet your boyfriend husband or whatever like fiance where did that would where did i meet brian um i know people would be like really so i actually met him online um on the dating website I know people would be like, oh, you still believe on dating websites, kind of like that. Yes, we do. Um, we never thought that it would turn out like this, like moving into a next level where we are already in a serious relationship, where we will get engaged, where, you know, things like that. But I, yeah, definitely, I met him online and I myself never thought that we'll be this serious. But, you know, guys, when destiny just really strikes at you and it happens it will happen so don't force love love will come your way just wait <laughs> like that. you want your wedding to be um okay wedding in general is a big thing for me i always want my parents to jo to join or be there be present at my wedding it's really weird for me to like explain myself because i'm anti-divorce so I really don't want things to happen like that to me because I think that's the worst thing that could happen to a marriage life or to a married couple. So I think that I grew up and my dad, they love each other and there's no such thing as divorce in our family, kind of like that. So I'll never understand if people would go divorce. I think that they should always work things out. Maybe it's just me, but um, I know in the U.S. or in foreign countries, it's very common. They do that because they fell out of love. They do such thing, but no. And yeah, so if I want to get married, I want it to be not in a church because Brian doesn't have any affiliation. So although he believes in God, I know he does, but he does not have a religion that he stand by. Um, he grew up going to a Presbyterian church, kind of like that. But yeah, I'm having a storytelling now. Answer your question. Um, I want our wedding to be in Disney because um, at first I do have an entry. I do have an entry for 90 days if I'm we're gonna do a fiance visa. So I'm sure it's going to be a civil union, and then we will have to save. And then we, I really wanted it to be in Disney, and I want my parents and his parents and to be present there anyways i'm wrapping up this because it's taking too long now i do appreciate your time for sticking until the end if you like this video or you like videos like this give this an all thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel to get updated with some more videos for me and if you are into gaming brian has a twitch channel i would link his channel down below on my description box and if you're also wanting to follow me on my social media i do have instagram and twitter go ahead follow me there and i'll see you back next time Bye.